The nominees are Oivin Neiborg and Johan E. Bull for Bor y Telt pa Trafalgar Square, Lives in a Tent on Trafalgar Square for NRK, the Norwegian Broadcasting Company. <laughs> that web article was the result of several cold winter days and nights spent with homeless people and rough sleepers in Trafalgar Square. Uh, Norwegian journalist Oivin Neiborg and cameraman Johan Bull initially met with hostility but were soon able to win their trust to produce this fly-on-the-wall coverage which gives a face to the homeless. The second nomination in this category is Katrin Pribyl of the German daily newspaper Augsburger Allgemein with <laughs> yep, no applause. Good Friday Agreement, Leben hinter Mauen, Life Behind the Walls. That report looks at the achievements of the Good Friday Agreement, my wife's home city of Belfast, 20 years on and the ongoing tensions that still exist in Northern Ireland, which have been made worse by the Brexit vote. Catherine visited Belfast, a city shaped by decades of political violence, and found a city still segregated and still scarred by the Troubles. Marco Varvelo of Italian TV station RAI, <laughs> Speciale TG1, is the third nomination in this category, with his report on violenza domestica domestic violence in the UK. The short documentary investigated the above average incidence of domestic violence in the UK, which is widespread and not just confined to ethnic communities. In the UK, one in three women over the age of 15 have reported some form of physical or sexual abuse, and men have also suffered in abusive relationships. Marco also looked at the civil servants trying to tackle this problem despite the dwindling funds available due to cuts in the public budget. The, the committee was particularly keen to highlight the work of its members reporting in languages other than English and was pleased to have a healthy crop of entrants in this inaugural category. Judges enjoyed Catherine Pribble's exploration of life around the peace walls of Northern Ireland with a memorable cast of characters and a near for a good quote that hopefully translated well into German. But the winner for a thorough an original piece of reporting that looked at an issue often neglected in the day-to-day -day life of a correspondent busy on Brexit and royal weddings was Marco Varvelo, a story on domestic violence in the UK. He punched me so badly that um, I had a broken rib and I was um, bleeding profusely through the nose. And then all of a sudden, very, very violent, he pushed me into the bedroom, uh, put uh, something in my, in my mouth, not to make me speak. He put a handkerchief inside of my mouth, tied my hands, put me into the closet and make love to this woman. Congratulations, a word? Yep. I must say the story was in Italian, just the testimony was in English. So uh, because the category is for stories in a foreign language, I must say grazie. Grazie judges, you've been uh, very generous. Grazie to my very small uh, but very dedicated team in our news correspondence office of Italian television, RAI. And I'm sure that this award will uh, serve as a spotlight uh, on uh, a very dramatic issue here in the UK as well. That is not much in the news because it uh, doesn't make breaking news. Uh, definitely is not fake news. Uh, and uh, domestic violence uh, very often is just considered uh, uh, a family matter, but actually is not. Thank you very much.